All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles that great most on who do well. Peace and blessing to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect, Shalom, Barakatham. Uh, I'm going to just title this, Can You Feel It? I almost want to play uh, <laughs> the Phil Collins music. All right, you know, he has a hit song. Um, uh, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. I don't remember the actual name of the song, but that's the lyric. Um, and uh, which I believe, you know, we believe Phil Collins was a Jake, but you know, that song, it kind of puts you in the spirit of something like in the air, you know, because that's how things are when a great event is getting ready to take place, man. And I was speaking with the elder earlier about this eclipse thing that's coming up, all right, and how. Um, you know, it feels like this place is over with, man. Just do, just do the spirit. You know, we obviously don't know. You know, the Lord didn't release the day or the hour, but you know, we know that we're close, man. All right, and I believe somebody had brought out that that there was a major uh, eclipse um, when the Lord delivered us out of Egypt, man. Like right before that, you know, and the scriptures basically do say that uh that the 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 moon all right the sun the stars those are for a dividing of time and they're for signs in the heavens man all right as a matter of fact i may go to it real quick let me see if i can get that in uh genesis Right. This is Genesis chapter 1 verse 14 And the power said Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven To divide day from the night Now Genesis 1 is a little bit Although it's the first chapter of the Bible This is not milk at all Alright this is uh, <laughs> This is very difficult to ascertain Because you know you hear in the first part When he created the heavens of the earth The evening and the sun was the evening and the night was the first day, but that's not talking about the sun per se, because the third, uh, um, the fourth day is when I believe it's the fourth day. Yeah, the fourth day is when the sun, moon, and the stars are created. All right, but it says, and let them be for signs. All right, and that's the main point. They're for signs, man, and for seasons, and for days, and for years. Okay, now the seasons, the days, and the years; those are divisions of time. All right, you have, you know, twenty-four hours in a day. Okay, you have several days, you know, within a week, and then you have several weeks within a month. All right, and then you have several months within a season. All right, and then several seasons within a year. All right, and so that's those are the divisions of times. All right, and the most I use the moon to do, to separate um, to dictate the month number one. All right, and to uh, to carve out the weeks. Okay, so the weeks and months are decided by the moon. Okay, and every twelve moons is a uh, twelve new moons is a uh, is a year. Okay, because the the days within a month are not exactly thirty. It's not thirty one. It's not twenty eight. You know, it, the moon dictates it. We're we're not to make up our own calendars and and uh, and, and and carve the moon into it. The moon dictates the time to us. That's what it is. It's a clock, basically. Okay. And the sun tells us when the day, within a single day, what time it is. When the sun is way over on the east, that means it's morning time, okay? When the sun is way over on the west, that means it's, it's, it's about to be evening. When the sun is uh, directly ahead, that's noon, okay? It's not nothing to do with three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, okay? Because you saw it changes daylight saving times and all of that. Anyway, this is not to go on a, uh, <laughs> a calendar lesson, a Hebrew calendar lesson, but 
the main point was that the the sun and the uh, the sun and the moon are for signs, man. Okay, so what what does that mean when we have a major solar eclipse coming? You know, that means something crazy is getting ready to happen, man. All right, we don't know exactly when, but you know, I personally know, I personally believe, I should say, because we don't know. I personally believe that the Most High is going to do something, man. This might very well be, you know, our last Passover. You know, we say that a lot. We say that every year, basically, but. Not every year do we have this solar event happening around the time of the Passover, man. Okay? Now, um, there was uh, one article I found peculiar, okay? Because they're putting out something strange in this article from Texas, okay? It says, April 8th, total solar eclipse. Texas officials warn people to stock up on food ahead of the solar eclipse. Now, why is Texas saying this, man? Do they know something, you know? Why are they telling you to stock up <clears throat> for a singular event that doesn't clog traffic ways? Now, they're blaming it on that. They're saying, oh, it's gonna be so many people coming down to to witness the eclipse and yeah that's true but like that that doesn't that doesn't uh warrant you stocking up on food and, and prepping so to speak you know what i'm saying it says officials in one state along the path of totality for april 8th total solar eclipse are advising residents to stock up on food and gas ahead of the event okay so they know Jake is not going to read this. This is really just for Edomites to read, you know. But but we're the watchmen, all right? I'm going to get that in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, because that's exactly what we are experiencing right now, man. All right? And we are to measure the time diligently. All right? It says in an interview, it says Texas Mike Jones, Hayes County, um... Said the area is expecting thousands of visitors to arrive to see the eclipse. Prepare for the crowd. Jones advised residents to stock up on groceries and fill up on gas. Okay. Um, he said if they're out on the day of the eclipse, he recommends residents pack your patience. Okay, but wait a minute, man. Like, if you buy groceries, most people can buy groceries within a week. How long are these people in town? Like, the eclipse is only one day. You know? Most people can get gas, and that tank will last them the week, you know? So this doesn't make sense unless Esau knows something, man, all right? And and a solar eclipse is a very ominous-looking thing, man. Look at this image, okay? <laughs> when you see something like that in the heavens, that means the Lord is getting ready to make a move, man, all right? This is Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs pass which i have told thee before all right then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made okay and we've already seen part of the signs pass this is going to be another sign man okay and that's what we're doing we're measuring the time diligently man all right other other uh israelite camps they're not they're not ahead of the curve all right they may react to it but they but what, what i realized with these other camps man is they they'll react to news that esau's got in the news man like if putin says something you know and it makes news that goes viral or something then they'll make like a response video or something too but they're not they're not watching for it man you know you know that they're they're not watching individuals like uh, uh, Klaus Schwab and you all know Harari is his secondhand man, whatever his name is. You know, they're they're reactive, man. All right, and really good shepherds, what do they do? They see danger before it comes, man. They see the wolf before it's close enough to take out one of the one of the sheep, man. Okay. That's that's a good shepherd, man. You know? And Yahweh Shai said he's the good shepherd. 
and he comes and he is the word he is literally the embodiment of the law the scriptures okay and he is the spirit of prophecy man so it, it only makes sense that we're in the spirit of, of watching man and, and you have to have foresight as a prophet that's what it means to be a prophet man to say things before how can you say things before when you when you're reacting to things in real time or looking at things that happened a long time ago all right and nothing wrong with looking at things that happened a long time history is great you know but your primary focus if you're in the lot of a of a prophet all right is is to look forward man and you're in the lot of a watchman is to look forward all right and it says then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world all right so we could have a lot of earthquakes man you know we don't know but we know it's gonna get weird man it's gonna get strange all right very peculiar things are going to be happening all right in the in the coming months i heard somebody say earlier in a podcast i believe they said the next 10 months are going to be ridiculous all right and i believe that man i believe that you know it says verse 4 then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning all right and so there's going to be a lot of individuals there's a guy that just left the truth like it's my last show all right but but the lord has been declaring this thing for since forever man and you're leaving now there's going to be a lot of guys that knew the truth they let they were in the truth they left they scoffed they did whatever all right and then the most high is going to make it plain what time it is you know He's going to make it crystal clear what time it is, man. Coming up soon, you know. It says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, man. And that's what's going to bug everybody out, man. All right, don't worry about, you know, this, this baddie that you can't get. You know, don't worry about the grocery bill, you know, being too high. All right, the rent going up on you. Your car got demons on it, breaking down on you. You know, the scriptures say the end is manifest, man. This is why we pray and we hope for these things, man. If we're tired of going through this trivial bullshit, knowing who we are, knowing what our birthright is, man, the Lord promised us kingship and godhood, man. All right? And, and we got we got to suffer a, 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 a bad attitude at, at a person in customer service, man. Your job is customer service. And you got an attitude. <laughs> That's literally your job is to not have an attitude, man. You know? Just menial bullshit, man. All right? And, and, and it's irritating because it all adds up, you know? But it says, uh, verse 5, uh, verse 6, Salakia, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works. All right? And that's what we just read in Genesis, man. When you read Genesis, man, the, the beginning, and we're gonna see that how how the world was made. We're gonna we're not just gonna be um, uh, speculating, you know, how it looked physically when the world was being created. All right, we're gonna be able to witness and see the creation of the earth, man. All right, and we're gonna know, you know, how we looked in the ancient world, in the pre-Diluvian era, which is the the, the pre-flood era. All right, in the time of Adam and Enoch, we're gonna get all of that insight, man. Okay, because the scriptures say it was it was uh, in wonder and in powerful works, man. That's a powerful work, man. The creation of the earth. All right, and, and one of the only things that went untouched, you know, on the earth is the is the moon and the stars, man. That's those things are are, are from the beginning, man. You know, and they're still here doing their job. All right. It says, and endings and effects and signs. All right. So the end will come with signs, man. The most high just doesn't spring things on people. It's only, it, it only springs up on the proud, man, because the most high hates the proud and the proud thinks of his, only thinks of themselves, man. All right. They don't, 
they don't regard power outside of themselves, all right? They don't believe in a, in a higher power outside of themselves. They think they are their God. You know, that's how those people think, man. You know? And so what happens when, when the real power, all right, flexes on them, so to speak, they're all aghast and caught off guard, man. You know? That's why the uh, beloved brother Paul said, I have no need to write unto you because you know the thief, the, the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. To the other people man but he said he had no need to write unto us because we know we're not we're not in the lot of the proud and the unwise you know and so this is why we do these lessons this is why you know we constantly watch we constantly break things down but you know it honestly has an eerie feeling this year man look how fast this year has passed already man you know it's already the middle of march it's already the middle of march all right. I mean, we were just talking about, uh, um, you know, all of the nonsense that was going on. Not nonsense, but you know, uh, all of the, the the viral events that were going on in the new year, man. You know, we should all have this purpose, you know. But I'll end it here. Um, it says. Um, man, I kind of want to keep going. <laughs> this is uh, verse 8. It says, verse 7, Salakia. Because he spoke about the signs, right? It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, man. So all of you guys that fell out, all you ones that lost faith, okay? All of, all of you that just decided to not do the work you're just gonna let every let let every y'all got it you know hey look if the lord convicted your spirit to 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 do this thing and you didn't do it guess what you're not gonna be delivered man this is who the lord is gonna deliver all right notice it says and shall be able to escape all right what do you have to escape man Jacob's trouble, man. You see what's going down over there in Haiti? All right? Now, we're not saying the Lord, Yahweh is going to return the day after the eclipse, but we do know, you know, that the, the last remaining prophecies that, that need to unfold were basically right there, man. The Karagma World War III is basically all set up, you know? And we know this guy is desperate. We know this is an election year, okay? And we know that he's lost control of the narrative he cannot spin the narrative anymore that's why he's trying to ban tiktok or why he banned tiktok all right because the 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 message that he wants to push on people the fear mongering the control he has lost it man those small hats they have lost the information war all right they cannot be seen as the good guys in anybody's eyes man so they, this this is a hell of a year man they, they've lost control all right and so what comes after that revelation 12 the devil has come down on you having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time all right that's that's basically where we are okay and if you're not girded up if you're not rooted in this thing if you're in if you just if you've just been going through the motions all right you're just going out because you just got to be, you know, you have to have it in your spirit to be dead set against this place, man. How could you want this to continue, man? Goodness, man. And, and the Lord knows, man, you know, there's, there's men in every camp that is just bullshitting, man. Your, your spirit really is not in it. You really could care less if the Lord comes back or not, man. And the Lord is no need for you, man. You're what you call lukewarm. All right. Verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, man. So this is the time that we're going to be saved and have salvation. 
all right? In, in our land. So who's in the land now? It's not the Israelites. It's not the real Israelites, all right? It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. So that's what I was saying earlier. Don't worry about these L's that we, quote unquote, L's we take in, man. You know? It, it, it's like losing a game of Monopoly. It's not real. This place, this world is not for us. This place is void of life, man. All right? And what I mean by that is that it doesn't appreciate life. It doesn't, it doesn't lift up uh, uh, life. Okay? It doesn't proliferate life. It sees life as a means to cause more death. You got to be alive to kill something. That's how this place operates. You see? So, th th this is not a place to want to wanna catch uh, a bunch of W's in, man. You catch one, okay, great. But don't, but don't think that that is worth anything, man. All right, our real worth is in the in the world to come. All right, and all of you that abused the ways, all right, you forsook the Most High, basically. All right, this this eclipse coming up might just be your last warning shot, man. All right, it says, and they, but you're not gonna heed because because we know you're programmed to not do it. The Most High don't want you, you know. It says, and they. That have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, man. This is not going to be anything to play with, man. All right. Bulls, mountain lions. Okay, famine, the sword. All right. There's all kind of fucked up ways to go out here, man. And you ain't even seen the spooky stuff yet, man. You read Wisdom of Solomon, the 17th chapter, man. Read Job 41 about Leviathan, man. All right. It says, um, for such as in their life have received benefits, see, and have not known me, man. All right. So, so you got your, you got your benefits here, man. You got your consolation, your prize. If you're suffering right now, Akiyam, you know, the scriptures say count it all joy, man. All right. Count it all joy. Cause when the Lord flips this thing, he's going to utterly flip it, man. Okay. And not one of his servants are going to even go hungry in that day, man. He says, our servants shall eat. The animal's not going to mess with us. Like, they're going to be fucking other people up. All right? These birds I'm watching flying around, all of those are going to be assets to us, man. The whole earth is going to be an asset to us. Literally a tool that, that, that like, back in the day of Adam, man. <laughs> you know? And he's naming all of the creatures. They're going to be in subjection to us, man. It's not going to be out of course like it is now. All right. Um, verse 11. And they have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. Okay. Now is the time of liberty. When this eclipse comes, that's still the time of liberty. But are you going to take heed? The wicked are not going to take heed, man. They're not. Okay. Okay. It says, and when as yet place for repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Okay, so we're not going to want to hear anything. All of those women that got my phone number somewhere along the last well, however many years, lose my number, man. I might just change it. I ain't trying to hear nothing. All right. We literally not even going to need phones, man. Women just going to find us. Right, Isaiah four and one will will come to pass, and it and it might just be this year. All right. It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Man, I didn't mean to go all of that direction with it, but hey, that's where it went, man. You know, because this, this this eclipse thing, man. You know, we can feel it here, man. You know. The Lord is the Lord is getting ready to make a move, you know, and we see all of the all of the avenues for this thing to just basically pop to burst, man, you know. So I end it there, man. Lord willing, this is edifying.
Call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakadash, Shalom, Bam Yashrav.